My research is in atmospheric physics, and the part of that that I'm interested in is in remote sensing the atmosphere. So in measuring the atmosphere from space, and also from high altitude airplanes and balloons, trying to make the best set of measurements to understand the atmosphere. The aerosol limb imager is uh, an original concept, an invention of our research group here at the University of Saskatchewan. Aerosols are these tiny little particles that are so small and light that they effectively just float in the air. And aerosols come from a number of different sources, including pollution, wildfire smoke, volcanic eruptions, and desert dust. People are always so familiar with climate change and the idea of global warming. And now aerosols have the exact opposite effect. They have a global cooling effect on the climate. And people all of a sudden get really excited about this because they think, oh, this is the solution. When in fact, it's only a small piece of the entire puzzle that relates to climate change. This here is Ali, the aerosol limb imager. This will give us a better understanding of the composition of the aerosols as well as their distribution in the atmosphere and this all ultimately tells us a lot more about how sunlight comes into our atmosphere and is either reflected by these aerosols or actually penetrates further down having an effect on the climate that we experience here on Earth. The Stratos program is getting students to build instruments and see them through their entire lifetime as if they were an actual space um, development mission. And we get to fly it on a, a platform that sort of simulates the outer space environment. We get a chance to really test this in a realistic environment by putting it on one of these massive stadium-sized balloons that will take it up into the stratosphere where we can make representative measurements. The Canadian Space Agency identified this as like a priority Canadian technology that they want to uh, develop for a future satellite mission. We could probably have it in space in three or four years, which is really fast for a satellite instrument actually. What I find so interesting is that research like this that really has an impact on climate science is done here in Saskatchewan. Our program here teaches a lot about optics and optics are, of course, the, a key element of this remote sensing. We have to build good optics to be able to focus on the atmosphere from Earth orbit. And uh, we get students who are interested in, in physics and in engineering together. And so the, about the physics of the atmosphere and about engineering solutions for doing things like making really good measurements.